Part 3. Information Basics So where do we start with solving this? Most will think we need to fix the software, and yes, there is some fixing which is needed, but that's not going to solve the entire problem, and now I'm going to explain why. We'll start with information once again. Over the years, every specialism or even sometimes company has become an information silo. They all have their own particular language, classifications and conventions. This is developed ad hoc without consideration of the other silos and the overall bigger picture. And to join it up, that's where people come in with our ability to read between the lines, to interpret and assume. But this introduces a whole chunk of risk. And you could kind of get away with this more when projects were simpler. So to help reduce this and make our projects more efficient, as an industry, we've moved towards technology to help us. This was the idea behind CAD and later the modelling side of BIM. But in simple terms, computers don't like unstructured, random and varied information across so many different scenarios. For me, the whole premise of BIM is about making as much of our information as structured as possible in a consistent way so that technology can understand it. One place we need to start is understanding the difference between structured and unstructured information. There is an overlap between the two, but in general, structured information is information data which is machine readable and can be queried, so asked a question of, for example, databases, models and spreadsheets. Unstructured information cannot be queried and needs a deeper understanding and interpretation, typically from a person to make sense of it. For example, drawings, reports, images and sound recordings. However, moving towards using more structured information is easier said than done. Because it's about converting the chaos into order. To do this, we need to remove the silos, rationalise it and bring the information together to see what we have. Then define what it is in accordance with logical rules, such as what the function of something is. Rather than the varied nature of the English language, software or bad habits which have evolved over time. And if that wasn't enough, we also need to join the information up. This is where we'll gain the real benefits because it's the connections which gives us the insight and greater knowledge. This will be key to everything we do in the future. So we need to go from this to this. To manage the information across the exchanges, we need to be far more consistent in specifying, delivering and checking it. Therefore, what we need is an information layer across the industry where unstructured and structured information can live together and gives us the rules for specifying, delivering and checking it. That doesn't matter if it's on capital works projects or for an annual lift inspection. 